Chanel, thank you. And Shakari Richardson joins us now. Good morning, Shakari. I just want to ask a simple question first. How are you doing? Um, I'm blessed to be alive. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> this is not easy. This is a hard moment that you're in right now. And I, I thank you for being on. And I know you wanted to tell your story. So tell me, you know, what happened? What led up to this positive test? Um, just honestly, or just I want to take responsibility for my actions. I know what I did. I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, no, I'm not. I'm I'm allowed not to do, and I still made that decision. But um, not making an excuse or looking for any empathy in my case. But just, however, being in that position of my life. Finding out something like that, something that I would say is probably one of the biggest things that have impacted me positively and negatively in my life when it comes to dealing with the relationship I have with my mother. So that definitely was a very heavy topic on me. And people don't understand what it's like to have to. Our right, people do. We all have our different struggles. We all have our different things we deal with. But to put on a face, to have to go in front of the world and put on a face and hide my pain. Um, like, who? I don't know. Who are you? Or who am I to tell you how to cope when you're dealing with a pain or you're dealing with a struggle that you've never experienced before or that you've never thought you would have to deal with? Like, who am I to tell you how to cope? Who am I to tell you that you're wrong for hurting? So I think just honestly, just leading up to that, dealing with my mental health, dealing my, with my mental as is with leading up to the games, um, every time stepping on the track, definitely expect it to be um, a record-breaking time or something like that. So just with that, um, pressure in itself was also just another thing with this actually been my first full professional career, my first full professional um, circuit this year due to, you know, the pandemic. So just considering all of that, all of that put together in a long time with my agent, my sponsor, my my sponsorship, my family, uh, knowing we did dealing with all of this going on. Um, Shakari, I, I just want people to understand where you're coming from um, and tell me if if this is correct. But you it was a few days before your big race and the trials. You found out that your biological mother had passed away. Um, you found out when a reporter told you. And it was after that that um, you it ingested some kind of marijuana. I should mention, you were in Oregon. It's legal in Oregon. You didn't violate any law, but it was against the rules of your sport. And as you said, you knew that. But is, is that what happened? Is that how this unfolded? Honestly, um, yes, that is the story. I had an interview scheduled with my agent. I knew I was having an interview. I knew um, going into an interview. Like, it was, I was just thinking it would be a normal interview, and then on the interview to hear that information come from a complete stranger uh, was definitely triggering, was definitely nerve-shocking, because it's just like, how are you to tell me that? Like, you know, it's like, and not, no offense against him at all. He's just doing um, his job, but definitely that sent me in a state of mind, in a state of, of emotional panic, if anything. Mm -hmm. And still knowing that I still, even though I'm here, I still have to go out and put on a performance for um, put on a performance for my dream, go out there and still compete to what it is. So yes, definitely triggered and from there just blinded with blinded by emotions, blinded by sadness, blinded by just hurting, hiding hurt, honestly. For the fact that I know that I can't hide myself, so at least in some type of way I was just trying to hide my pain.